Well, that's in the middle of nowhere. The adaptive, like on the ZS. When you come into a tight bend, it'll scrub some speed off. Also, if you're not happy with the vehicle in front of the distance, you just literally twist it either this way or that way to lengthen or shorten. And to accelerate, push up on the stalk. To decelerate, push down. Time to try sport mode. Yeah, more responsive on the acceleration. <laughs> Noticeably different. How lovely. I know, as you mentioned That's before, a like quaint. Yeah, absolutely. Not ideal for a 40 foot of mine. No, look at the old phone box. Ah, lovely. There's somebody's bugle attached to the garage. Cool. Denton Sedba, yes. Little lambs. Retro Volvo. It's definitely not articulated lorry friendly, yeah. is it? It's a John the Evangelist cowgill. Oh, we're in Cowgill still, mm. okay. All those little drids. Ooh, a hen. <laughs> that was, we had hens like that, didn't yes, we? Yes, I was just trying to think. Oh yeah, what's the colour? Aberdeen Angus kept to mind. No, that's a cow. Bit, Similar. Burford <laughs> yeah. Brown? Hmm? Not Burford Brown. No, no, it um, um, begins with Moran. M, I'm sure. Moran, Moran, that's it. Yeah. Morang. Moran. <laughs> Nearly. Okay. We've not driven any hills, have we? It's just been... Like little bridges. I don't oh. know, there's been some steep bits. There's the collision detection. Not on that bit. We're now up to 30, no. 137 miles of range. Oh, right. Oh, cool. So it's gained another three and it's been, well, essentially flat. Now on these roads it's quiet, isn't it? Very little road noise. Very refined. No wind noise. See why these fly off the shelf? I really can. Very efficient system. Well, it completely eliminates any anxiety that you may may have, and yeah. I mean that is a emphasis on the may. And it looks like a round trip of a, what, 100 miles. Yeah. Like that. So a, a decent decent jaunt out. Oh yeah. Well, I didn't expect to be coming on this road. I didn't even know there was a road that cut through cockpit in here. I mean, everything's just straightforward, isn't it? It's Big infotainment screen, yeah. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, DAB Radio. Wow. The cobblestones. Where's this sandwich? Dent. Thank you. Ooh, Herald. This is very quaint. Yeah. The roads. Well, there's actual cobblestone. <gasps> it handles so very well, doesn't it? It does. Now on these roads, now we've not got that BM in front of us. We need to be quite as frugal with the range now, do I? We're talking of range. What are we on? 138 miles. <laughs> Which means it hasn't dropped at all. <laughs> And I've seriously put my foot down as well. Yeah, wonderful. So that regen is seriously impressive. It is. Oh, it's agile and nimble on a bat lane, this. Far more than you give it credit for, yeah. to be honest. And it's not too wallowy either. No. Just that little no. bit of body roll. Yeah, but that adds to the comfort level. Exactly. Covered. Good brakes, great acceleration. It doesn't unnecessarily wheel spin either, yeah. unless it's in sport mode. That's a bit wide. Yeah, bit of a beast. Now, all in all, you get so much for the for the money for this car. It's an estate car, so it's versatile for so many different applications. Well, yeah, practicality just built into it. Yeah. The other thing is, 61%, 137 miles. It's only just dropped. I'm still in eco mode. So I'm still having this agile, fun, engaging drive without even hitting sport. That's beautiful. Not a bad sound system this, considering it's completely standard. So we're just dropping down into Sedba. We've still got 135 miles of range. 
when you're on country roads with ups and downs and undulation and all that type of thing, you won't use range. Awesome. It's like Harry Potter's villain. Lambs playing. Boink, oh, boink, yes. boink. Bless them. Snaky, snaky road. Coming out of Sebba, absolutely no problem rocketing up these hairpin type steep hill of roads it's uh, well it's just not a problem for it it does it with ease well they're very snaky like you said before aren't they yeah but due to its weight and its power delivery it's whoa this road's horrendous it's like mountain biking eek you see our energy flow so there we go it's putting back in uh, I've put my foot down blue means we're using it. Well, <laughs> no problem. Straight up to the limit. Wind noise and road noise have increased, but road noise just decreased on that bit of tarmac. So yet again, road conditions. Our range has now dropped to 124 miles, traveling at 66 miles an hour. Let's try adaptive. Literally, press the end of the stalk and you've applied it. And that's stop go. So essentially, I don't need to do anything. The car will just accelerate and brake as it sees fit. I've also felt the lane keep assist. Yeah, it's holding it steady. Reminds me of when we went over Thalwall. If you drive efficiently, you kept letting off the accelerator. Not far off mile for mile, to be honest. Yep, currently mile for mile. Perfect. Nice one, MG. Say, that's not bad at all, considering we were creeping up over motorway speeds as well. So we're still in eco, 55% of battery, 123 miles of range to, to cane, as it were. Yeah. If you exceed 70, even by one mile an hour, it starts flashing in the cluster. That's oh, good. that is interesting, yeah. yeah. It's clever. Not on the motorway, feels nice. Balanced and... Uh, Refined. Yeah. yeah, well, stable more the point. Yeah. Now you've got MG Pilot in the 5. It's a far better car, it's far safer. Too many of those. Monaro. What we've decided to do moving forward is do a road trip in every vehicle we get, whether it's diesel, petrol, EV, hybrid. Because we enjoy them. More at the point, you do. Okay, so we've just left Milnthorpe. And as I mentioned, we're heading to the chip shop in Chinese. But before I go, we've got 51% of battery and 106 miles of range. The higher speeds of the motorway, especially when you're climbing hills, you are going to use more range. But if you drive efficiently, it's not bad to be honest. When it comes to the cold, well, What's it claiming? 235 miles of range? I'd say closer to 180, 190, dependent on obviously what the temperature is. I mean, he's hooking probably minus five there. It goes down to zero, uh, 200 ish. And obviously, it's going to use more power if you use things like fans. Or seat eaters, that kind of thing. Well, yeah. no, if you've noticed, nine times out of ten, especially with things like the Solterra, that it's it's far more efficient to use, say, a, a heated steering wheel and a seat heater. Than the hat of the fans and the climate control on. Yeah, good point. Exactly. So, yeah, just bear that in mind. The other thing is, don't let it run flat. If you're going on a journey, charge up when you can. Because that's it, you don't know if the next charge is going to be out of commission. So, even if it's going to be 20 or 30 miles shorter than what it would have been, it's worth topping up when you can. Because, let me tell you, if you do miss the opportunity, yeah, You'll it, know about it might be a nightmare. Mm. Because you could have to go absolutely anywhere to find one. Hotels, onto A roads, you name it. And it is getting better and better, don't get me wrong. But the thing is, electric cars, they've got their place. And especially now with the increase in electric. I mean, we're getting a Type 2 charger installed in the next two weeks. So that's efficient and it's a good, well, it's a good idea for us. But if you live in a tower block, 
it's a different story to be honest. So bear that in mind if you're thinking about getting an electric vehicle. You charge at home your time too, you'll save a small fortune, especially with some of the electric tariffs. I think it's as low as 12p an hour for say 4 or 5 hours, which is enough for your commute, especially if you charge it up for 4 or 5 hours each night. But if you're going to use rapid chargers, yeah, well I think the prices have overtaken petrol. Now that says something. Yeah. Good morning. We're heading through to Bolton to look at the BYD at 03. Oop, shred of tyres there. Now we're going to go on, well, lots of mini road trips, aren't we, Annabelle? Indeed. Adventure here, adventure there. Exactly. Oop. I forgot how, um, Powerful how this much is. other, yeah. <laughs> 182 miles, which is 72% of battery. And we've got 48 miles to go. We have indeed. And we're going to somewhere called the Drop-In. The last Drop-In. Well, MG5, where'd you go? Well, pretty much anywhere. As we demonstrated with MG4 when we went up to Scotland. So, there's definitely going to be some mountain biking adventures. And what I'll have to check see if we can V2L, in which case... World Show Lobster. It is. It <laughs> means that I can charge my EMTV. Join the M6. As always, MG5, fully electric, absolutely no problem. Up to the limit. Join the motorway nice and easily, but we've got plenty of power there. Now, I do like this blue accent. That's uh, the theme around what about the cabin. Squishy, squashy? I like the squishy squashy here, as Ben pointed out. It's soft to the touch, but then you've got different materials as well, so that, uh, ooh, that plays into my wheelhouse. Mm. Very nicely done. Comfortable padded armrest on either side, and the one in the centre is big enough for both Ben and I. Mm. Very nice. Very little tyre noise, but I can hear a bit of wind noise off the mirrors. It is a bit windy today, though. Mode and curse. It's a nasty squall, isn't it? Glad I brought the jacket. Yeah. LEVC fam! Woo! Well, that was interesting. I could feel the car being buffered, and I was like, this doesn't feel like the last one we drove. So we went into the settings, and right enough, lane assist wasn't enabled. Now it is. It's a completely different drive. It feels so sure, well footed. So well footed. I'm not surprised I'm messing words up. Have you heard this? I know, it's really loud. the worst bit of the M6 yet yeah. again. And it is not the car, as we'll demonstrate as we go around the corner. Woo, HS. Wow. Night and day. Beast. That's the word for it. That was the same colour born. Yes. The, um... the launch edition colours, yes. Yeah. Blue and gold. Yeah, it's a nice little hot hatch, isn't it? Well, it shows you what ID can be. Yeah. 0.1 miles. There's donuts, sir. Eyes up. There were oh. donuts. Whoa! Tire tracks. Mm -hmm. Tire activity. You hop on to hop straight back off, really. You do. Oh. Now that is a beast of a van. Mm -hmm. Talk about every eventuality. What a sprinter. <laughs> Mercedes Benz would love that. Sorry. Highs on board. Exit left. It's a bakers and sprinters, eh? Yes. Well, it's always a wonderful day for pie. Mm. Cluster's nice and straightforward. Your road sign recognition, see what your safety's doing, your adaptive cruise, your regen, and when you put your power down, driving modes at the bottom, and range and battery percentage. Let's try the curves. Yep, got the difference. That's three. And it's bringing us to a stop. If you want to coast, one's best. It's certainly quietened down now, hasn't it? It's refined, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, travelling at 30. Very little noise, but you can hear, the slower you go, the electric noise, which is obviously very good for pedestrians. They're in hell. It looks like it's average speed the whole way. It is, but at least we're back up to 50. Yes. It's a bit like a roller coaster. Right. The suspension's taking it well, and I've got the lane keep assist enabled. It's essentially steering for me. Oh, look at this rough backdrop. Corner as well, and it is doing most of the cornering itself. Oh look, we're in Astra Belmont. 
In case you're wondering, that used to be an old school Vauxhall. Yeah. This one? Yes. You wouldn't expect it to be so... Open? Countryfied in green. No. It's the Bolton. It's like we're a Brassic country, isn't it? Hmm. I've not seen Brassic. Take a look. We economise, now we've got on the A and B roads. We're holding our range for England. Last Rock Village, pulling up hills? No problem. problem. <laughs> In point one miles. Best thing about Jet electric left. cars, instant acceleration. Yes. Which Oof. is needed at points. Oh, well, we've just come across one thing that we've never had before, and that's laggy GPS. And uh, we've missed our In half a turn mile. because of it. Turn the right. The thing is, it's the first MG that we've ever had with that. So, quite a surprise. Turn right. I think it'll sort itself out, to be honest. Yeah. And we're here. We'll have a proper look at those in a moment. Oh, we've arrived. When we first saw it fully charged, didn't we? Fully charged live north. Well, that was an enjoyable adventure. Time to hit the M6 in the pouring rain in the MG5. I think we'll have a little more of an eco drive back. See how that goes. We're leaving the drop in? The last drop in. The last drop in. With 47% of battery, 91 miles of Jump range, right. 50 miles to go. It'll be a lot more economical on the way back. So that's the aim, like I said. I do like the way that you've got the camera views here. That's it, the MG5. It's a very cost effective solution. That is so wrongly angled. It's badly angled completely, isn't it? Plus, there's no filter that says right, it, yeah. which makes it a little daunting. Yeah. Half a mile. It's a superb car, and more to the point, it's the only electric estate car in the UK. It does like to wheel spin. It'd be nice to see that tamed down in the future, wouldn't it? Like, some of the electric cars we've driven recently, when you put your foot down, you can't wheel spin them for love no money, but no. they still get a decent launch. Yeah, this. and they'll grip and they'll go. Exactly. Yeah. This, you'll just go there. But, if you can feather the accelerator, you're all oh. good. Yeah, that's really scraping the bottom of the barrel, really, exactly. when you're yeah, looking yeah. at what you get for the money. A nice clear cluster. Everything straightforward. The lovely rotary that we saw in the ZSEV. In point one miles. Doesn't it look beautiful with that like moody mist? Mm -hmm. You can see the church spire at the bottom of the valley. This is lovely. I didn't even know this was all here. I mean, I know when I've been to buy cars with mum and even me back in the day, when you head towards this direction, there is like a in an overland type route you can take, but I didn't sure, realise it was this picturesque. The thing is, the MG5's handling like a champ, isn't it? Yeah, it Suspension's really is. Suspension's taking it well because this road is it's atrocious, isn't it? Yeah. It's here, isn't it? A steep hill. Regen holding us back nicely, and there's a really big wagon. Massive. Ooh, new leaf. If Annabelle looks in the mirror, Nissan Aria. That's the thing, when you go on a road trip adventure now, you see far more electric cars than you ever have. But with all these new manufacturers, BUID, MG releasing things like the MG4 X Power, well, there's a lot of choice out there. It's an exciting time. When you're in adaptive, if you're going into a bend that it classes as too fast, it will scrub a bit of the speed off. It's intelligent driving, isn't it? Yes, yeah. it is. We're getting close. The natural ally of the EV. The motorway traffic jam. Time to recoup. In point one miles. You never get used Continue to it. Continue straight. That's definitely a no-no. Well, it's certainly been a windy day today, hasn't it? Oh gosh, yes. Mind you, with adaptive, lane keep assist, and the other MG pilot bits and bats, it means this stays glued to the road. I can feel a slight bit of movement. 
but when I disabled the lane keep assist before, it was a different ball game. Wow, Leyland Ribble. The thing is, even on a bend like this, it just digs in its heels due to its weight. It just handles with perfection. It's also steering for me too. Turn left. Do a range check now. 19% of battery in 36 miles. Considering I've been driving, well, as fast as I possibly can within the limits at every available opportunity, I expected to whack far more range. So it's held on to it really well. I was going to say that's a yeah. plus. Mind you, we did have some roadwork sections, and also there were a lot of um, average, average speed, speed cameras yeah. in the countryside didn't expect. So that also helped the range. So nice That's one, MG. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll have to work out our it. next yeah. adventure, won't we? Yeah. Let's get it set up on charge now. Yeah. Put, what, another 100% on? See yeah. where else we can go. So we've got this car for another, it's just under two weeks, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Next adventure, MG5 with Dunk, Sebi, and we're heading up to Coniston. So yesterday, Bolton, and this time, well, we're going into the wilds, aren't we? It's not the best weather for it. We've just had a thunderstorm. But I know. Make the most of it. Who's Thing driving? Is, me. Right, okay. Perfect. We've got 99% of battery and 212 miles of range. Now, the likelihood is this car's such fun, I'm not going to hold on to the range because it does things like this. Uh, and we are in national speed limit. So yeah, Dunk just pans in on the cluster here. You'll see the range and the battery. So you've got quite a lot of convenience and safety on this. Will wheel spin, but when it gets going, it really shifts. Not to 60 in around seven seconds. Heading to the Lake District Peninsulas. So how fast is Coniston, do you reckon? 20 miles? 15, 20 miles from here. Mm. Past Newby Bridge. Thoughts on the MG5? Beautiful. Well, we've used 5% of range, but when we'd come out of Beetham, which was three and a half miles, we'd used one. So it can retain its range quite well. You can see that it's being buffeted left, right, and centre, but because of the lane keep assist, it's doing a damn good job. Last time I drove, I can't remember which MG it was, but I was going over Thelwall Viaduct, and the winds were that bad, there was a 40 footer in the third lane and he can't get out. Well, the weather's not improving, is it? So it feels like monsoon season. <laughs> it looks like monsoon season. Yeah. So we're heading towards Barrow and Overstone. We'll take a right and head towards Coniston. We'll head to east of the lake. Ooh, national speed limit. Always good fun in an electric car. 45 miles an hour and this is in eco mode as well. And we're at the limit. Lovely day in Cumbria. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Thing is, it's not in the car. <laughs> Even though we've got stair rods and like water moving in. It looks. It's, well, it's uh, a, big... a bit rough there. Yeah, sweeping Ben. Drive back, Broughton. Okay, so Nibthwaite and Coniston. Let's head left. Look at this. Getting quite rural now. I know. It shows you that electric cars can keep up with the best of them, isn't it? Yeah, there's just like, no limitations yeah, anymore, really. Exactly. I'm going to set this green laning next. Uh, well, is that a bit of tree? Yeah, it's a bit of tree. It looks like monkey puzzle. Yeah. I can feel the regen. Nice. What's the range? The range is 185 miles. The thing is, I'd like to do this now, we'll start recouping, so 80%, 86% of battery. Uh -huh. And um, because we're in the trophy, we've got heated seats, haven't we done? <laughs> yeah, I was wondering how long it'd take you to notice. Yeah, no, uh, I've been roasting slowly. Yeah. And uh, it's just a nice thing for winter. The thing is, they don't drain that much range either. Uh -huh. Pretty good. Really testing everything to the limit. AC's on, heated seats. Yeah. 
darker side of the east of the lake. That's it. It goes into these little alcovey bits, gets darker, then gets lighter, and then we go higher. And you can see views over the fields and what's left? Do you remember? Not a clue. Is it the copper mines? No. That was somewhere we've used one percent of battery. Yeah. 183 miles of range. No, 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 we've used one, not on one. Mind you, we are on one. You're never not on one when you're not on a one. What? We go off-roading in the trucks. I didn't realise you could get from this direction. We're going to get lost. Yeah, we have no clue where we're going, Sabi. It's like a, a magical mystery tour. Just driving. Yeah, just driving. Where are we actually going? Um, I have no clue. Coniston. Coniston Water, Peel Island. Which is um, from a famous book. Isn't it? And name the book? The Swallows and Amazons. Very good. What else is Coniston Ron famous Dave. for, Sebi? Any ideas? Dave. Sebi, what's Coniston famous for? Oh, there you go. That's a myth debunked. You can go through relatively deep water in an electric car. It will not affect you. And yes, you can jet water. No, you can. I think modern electric cars are safer than petrol. Yeah. Well, they're all done to like a nail test as well, aren't they? Yeah, they there's so many fuses battery. built into the batteries. Yeah. Well, they're advanced now. is called Water Park, otherwise known as um, Grumblesville. And yeah, there's also wards and um, warlocks. No, I didn't say that as a ward. Wards and warlocks, yeah? Warlocks and hobbits. Wards and warlocks. Yes. Oh, yeah, I know, there's so many places to point to sit down. Feels unspoilt here. Yeah. Quite a contrast from Windermere and Bowness. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely off the beaten track. The thing is, you can adventure in somewhere like this with an electric car without any problem. Just make sure you can piece of it around. Mind you, it's the same with petrol. You don't come down here with four miles a gallon. But I mean four miles like you tank here. Right. That'd just be foolish. You've managed to turn everything on full whack and it's not affected the range. That's, That's impressive. Good observation, eight miles. Mm. Just get a little glimpse over the top of the hedge there. Coniston Water. That's where we used to come. Been a lot of adventures around here over the years. Here we go. Find me a house half a mile from here. Right on the lakeside now. for an adventure. That waves on Thomas. Bloods. And the MG5. Yeah, it just isn't phased. Classic motor. Have you noticed, now we've got in, you can't even hear the weather? That says something, doesn't it? Considering what it's like out there. Small oasis. The burble of the valve. Onward, Coniston Village. <laughs> 